As with any role that we get to, to do over and over again, there's something that, that you add each time that you, you do it, and you find something new, and that's been my experience through this, this role. There are moments that give foreshadowing of what the character will experience in the next opera, but for myself, I'm always having to remind myself to stay present and play the situation that I am in and not not foretell what his fate will be, you know, the next opera or what the character does in Siegfried as well. The first time with this particular role, uh, it was about, I'd say, 70% thinking of survival <laughs> to get through the whole thing. From the time you see Wotan, it's, he's on stage for the rest of the opera. The challenge is most of all stamina. Uh, through the whole ring cycle, and it becomes an athletic event in many respects. I mean, singers' lung capacity are very similar to Olympic athletes, and I, I think if you're doing it, it, it is an athletic undertaking. We don't use microphones, and in most Wagner orchestras, there's a hundred pieces that we're singing with, and aside from that, the challenge of learning all of this music <laughs> that, you know, to have in your head and to, to really sort of incorporate the, the drama of it all. And I think we sort of gravitate to that just as humans, you know, there's, there's a reason why people look to, to climb Everest. And, and this is, I think in, in some respects, it is a form of that type of challenge. It's proving to yourself that, that this is something that you can last through and uh, persevere. After I had finished my whole run of, of the ring cycle, I had this huge wave of gratitude for everyone who had helped me along the way. I called former voice teachers, present voice teachers, coaches, and just profusely thanked them. The change for me was seeing that I could, the equivalent of run a marathon, and at the same time, realizing that none of us achieve a certain amount of notoriety completely on our own. It is with the help of hundreds of people in our lives. There are moments where you think, oh my gosh, this is, I, I feel like the luckiest person in the world to be doing this and to hear this the way I'm hearing it. There are moments that are unforgettable, especially for the audience members. I think the overture in the, in the beginning, the way the overture starts, is an amazing thing. And I won't say too much about that. People have to come see it and hear it. <laughs>